Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Russian ebook before it's gone. Hi everyone, I'm Gabriella. How are your Russian listening skills? In this video, you'll have a chance to test them out with a quiz. First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Are you ready? Женщина спрашивает кое-что у продавца в книжном магазине. Какую книгу хочет посмотреть женщина? Извините, могу я взглянуть на книгу вон на той полке? Которую книгу вы хотите посмотреть? Книгу о машинах. Подождите, пожалуйста. Вот эту? Верно. Вот, пожалуйста. Какую книгу хочет посмотреть женщина? Женщина спрашивает кое-что у продавца в книжном магазине. Какую книгу хочет посмотреть женщина? Извините, могу я взглянуть на книгу вон на той полке? Которую книгу вы хотите посмотреть? Книгу о машинах. Подождите, пожалуйста. Вот эту? Верно. Вот, пожалуйста. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. How are your Russian listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Мужчина и женщина смотрят на меню в ресторане. Что мужчина заказал? Что бы вы хотели заказать? Эта пицца выглядит аппетитно. Я возьму ее. Я ел пиццу вчера, так что... Правда? Тогда как насчет гамбургера? Звучит неплохо. Я закажу его. Что мужчина заказал? Мужчина и женщина смотрят на меню в ресторане. Что мужчина заказал? Что бы вы хотели заказать? Эта пицца выглядит аппетитно. Я возьму ее. Я ел пиццу вчера, так что... Правда? Тогда как насчет гамбургера? Звучит неплохо. Я закажу его. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. How are your Russian listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Мужчина разговаривает с клиникой по телефону. До какого времени мужчина должен прийти туда? Здравствуйте! Чем я могу вам помочь? До скольки вы сегодня работаете? До шести часов. Но, пожалуйста, придите до пяти тридцати. Хорошо. До какого времени мужчина должен прийти туда? Мужчина разговаривает с клиникой по телефону. До какого времени мужчина должен прийти туда? Здравствуйте. Чем я могу вам помочь? До скольки вы сегодня работаете? До шести часов. Но, пожалуйста, придите до пяти тридцати. Хорошо. 
Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. How are your Russian listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Мальчик читает свой дневник. Что мальчик сделал в первую очередь в этот день? Сегодня была очень хорошая погода. После обеда я пошел в бассейн, а вечером я пошел смотреть кино. Кроме того, я учился утром. Это был очень хороший день. Что мальчик сделал в первую очередь в этот день? Мальчик читает свой дневник. Что мальчик сделал в первую очередь в этот день? Сегодня была очень хорошая погода. После обеда я пошел в бассейн, а вечером я пошел смотреть кино. Кроме того, я учился утром. Это был очень хороший день. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. How are your Russian listening skills? First, you'll see an image and hear a question. Next comes a short dialogue. Listen carefully and see if you can answer correctly. We'll show you the answer at the end. Мужчина и женщина рассматривают фотографию. На какую фотографию они смотрят? Это фотография футбольной команды вашего сына, не так ли? Который из них ваш сын? Вот этот. О, он самый высокий в команде. Он выше, чем я. На какую фотографию они смотрят? Мужчина и женщина рассматривают фотографию. На какую фотографию они смотрят? Это фотография футбольной команды вашего сына, не так ли? Который из них ваш сын? Вот этот. О, он самый высокий в команде. Он выше, чем я. Did you get it right? I hope you learned something from this quiz. Let us know if you have any questions. See you next time. Всем привет! Hi everybody, it's me, Katusha. Welcome to RussianPod101.com. Today our topic is five sentence patterns for beginners. So if you're a beginner, it's perfect for you. Watch me. Меня зовут. My name is. Меня зовут. And your name. My name is. And your name. Меня зовут Сергей. А вас? My name is Sergey. And you? Yeah. I am. Я. Я. I am. Я учитель. I am a teacher. Где? Where is? Где? Where is? Где Джон? Где вокзал? Where is John? Where is the station? Так. That's so. Так. That's so. <laughs> so. <laughs> так красиво. That's so beautiful. Так дорого. That's so expensive. I prefer beautiful example. <laughs> Я люблю. I like. Я люблю. 
I like. Я люблю шоколад. I like chocolate. Я люблю петь. I like to sing. There is a slight difference in like and love, but in this case, люблю is something you really, really like. So we also use it to love something, like I love chocolate. But if you really like something, you can also say this word in Russian. Люблю. Hey, so it was me, Katusha, with five sentence patterns for beginners. How did you like it? Please comment. And stay with me in RussianPod101.com. See you later. Пока-пока. Hello, everyone. My name is Katusha. I will be with you today for Russian Weekly Words. We're going to start together our first lesson. And it's very exciting. I don't know what's going to be there. And I don't know any words I'm going to teach you from now on. But um, let's have a look. Let me check. <laughs> Takes a bit a long time. Uh-huh. Hobbies. Увлечение. Играть на музыкальном инструменте. Play a musical instrument. Oh, my childhood, I was dreaming to play piano. I always wanted to play a musical instrument. Я всегда хотела сыграть на музыкальном инструменте. We're good? Okay. Something about the play again. No, we're, we're moving to sports right now. I like watching sports. Olympic Games, I'm waiting for it. Катание на коньках. Ice skating. Uh, recently, Japan is getting very strong in it, but of course, Russia. To glide on skates, I would say, if we translate it like from word to word, we're ice skating. Мы катаемся на коньках. Let's go ice skating tonight. On our sleepy iPad. Рисовать. Hmm, draw. Can you draw? I can draw a little bit on the napkin when I'm in a cafe or something like that in a very artistic way of drawing. I would like to draw something. Я бы хотела что-нибудь нарисовать. Я бы хотела что-нибудь нарисовать. Would you like to draw something? Next one maybe guys will be interested in. Рыбачить. Fishing, right? Why not? It's summer, the weather is great. We can just go outside, pull a tent out and just stay and go to the river and do fishing and fish, fish, fish. <laughs> we can cook the fish later. Рыбачить is a verb and the noun is рыба, fish. I go fishing from now on. Прямо сейчас я иду рыбачить. You got it? The next one is my favorite. Танец. It's dancing. To dance, to dance. Танцевать. Dance. To dance. Let's go to club to dance. Yay! Пошли в клуб танцевать. Outside in the parking, do some break dancing. Next time you can do some cool movements. You can say it in Russian. Танцевать. I like dancing. Я люблю танцевать. Oh no! It says the end. For now, it's just the first lesson is over. Nice talking to you. Okay, I'll see you next time. It was Katusha with you. Bye. It's like tiger, you know, like lion. Remember me? I'm Katusha from Russian Weekly Words. And hello again to you. I missed you. So let's have a look what today's theme is going to be about. Ta-da! Something you will really enjoy in summer. Фрукты. Mmm, fruits. Я обожаю фрукты. I love fruits. Апельсин. <laughs> You're never gonna guess what it is in English. Can you? Well, it's orange. Я бы хотела съесть апельсин на утро. I would love to have orange this morning. 
Juicy, juicy orange. Oh my god, I'm getting hungry. Arbuz. <laughs> it's watermelon. I know it's very juicy and it's perfect for summer. My дети обожают арбуз. My children love watermelon. Banan. Banana. Обезьяны на пальмах едят бананы. Monkeys on the trees eat bananas. Я добавляю банан в йогурт. I add banan to yogurt. No banana, just banan. Okay, next word is in June. It's very popular, I think. So it's vishnya. It's cherry. Cherry. I used to climb cherry trees when I was a kid. Eat dirty cherries. Mm. I need a cherry juice right now. Мне нужен вишневый сок прямо сейчас. Okay, anyone bringing me cherry juice? No, I knew it. Клубника. Strawberry. Uh, waiter, can I have a strawberry with champagne, please? Um, можно мне клубнику с шампанским, пожалуйста? I love strawberry too. The end. Unbelievable. So we're done with fruits for today. Фрукты. Uh, so I hope next time we can uh, we can talk about some vegetables as well. Okay, so I'll see you some other time. It was nice talking to you. Bye. Hello everyone, and it's me, Katusha. Today you're watching us Russian weekly words. Welcome. If you watch it for the first time, I have no idea about what it is. We're gonna find out together right now. Oh, the topic is... Where I am now? Komnata. Room. Vannaya. Vannaya is very useful because it's a bathroom. Vanna is a place where you actually take a bath. In Russia, for example, the bathroom can be only for the bath, and the toilet is only for the toilet. It's, it can be separated. Yeah, because it was built in Soviet Union times, it's like, together or not, you can still call it vannaya. Я иду в ванную. I go to the bathroom. And the next room we have is гостиная. Living room. Гостиная is coming. It has a meaning, like, it's connected with a guests leaving because you live in there but in russia it's more like you you invite friends and guests into that room приходите ко мне в гости в гостиную come to my place to the living room so the next word is кухня kitchen kitchen кухня is very useful place я занимаюсь йогой у себя на кухне i do yoga in my kitchen next word is спальня Спальня is bedroom. To sleep in Russian is спать. Не заходи ко мне в спальню. Don't enter my bedroom. Спальня. Ah, it's столовая. Dining room. Столовая is cold because we have стол. And стол is a table, like more like dining table in Russian. Я люблю смотреть телевизор в столовой. I like watching TV in my... Uh, Dining room. <laughs> Too many rooms, I'm getting confused. And this is the end of the room. Nice! And I hope I was useful for you today, so I'll see you some other time in my other lesson. Bye! Are you ready, everyone? This is Katusha with Russian Weekly Words. And let's figure out what are the next words we're going to learn today. And go! Colors. I love this theme. Very nice theme. Colors in Russian is цвета. Be careful because flowers in Russian is цветы, but colors is цвета. So the first color is белый. Белый. I don't have it right now. But maybe you do. Белый, white. We can see in many, many places around us. Мой холодильник белый. My fridge is white. 
Here we go, next color. Ta-da! Zelony. Green. When you go to the nature, everything is green, right? Лес такой зелёный. The forest is so green. In Russian it sounds very strange. Red. Красный. Красный – это мой любимый цвет. Red is my favorite color. As you can see, some red boots, red socks, red hat. Whew, the colors that suits everyone. Черный, black, man in black. Черный. So um, if you want to look cool, you can always wear black. Я люблю одеваться в черное. I like to wear black. Я люблю одеваться в черное. I like to wear black. Oh, that's a cute one. The favorite girl's color. Розовый. Pink. Pink. We all see the world through the pink glasses. Мы смотрим на мир в розовых очках. I mean, we want to be optimistic, so... Pink. Pink is a good color, but don't overdo it, I guess. The end. Oh no, well, I hope you mix your colors, цвета, very well, and you look great. Just choose your own style and go with it. And I'll see you next time in my lessons, okay? See you, bye! Hello, you! Welcome to Russian Weekly Words with me, Katya. Or Katusha, you may say, makes me feel better, so welcome. Today we're gonna learn about uh, I have no idea what about. So let's have a look. Hmm. Months of the year. Месяцы года. Number one is I don't know why we start with July. It's not actually the first month of the year. It's a nice month too, so июль. The heat, the sun, the holidays, so. Поехали на море в июле. Let's go to the sea in July. And it's gonna be... Hmm, it's May. 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 May, May. Oh my, oh May. Some flowers start to bloom. Let's go to the zoo in May. Пошли в зоопарк в мае. Let's go to the zoo. Пошли в зоопарк. Next year in May we're going to the zoo. Next month is... Сентябрь. September. Сентябрь. Сентябрь. September. Я пойду в школу в сентябре. I will go to school in September. This is how we start like in uh, Russian post-Soviet Union countries. It's kind of a uh, month, so yeah. Сентябрь. Next month is gonna be... It's my month! And the first month of the year... Январь. January. Январь – первый месяц года. January is the first month of the year. My birthday in, in January. Next month is Mart. It's funny, March. You say CH in the end, but somehow in Russian is T in the end. В марте еще холодно. It's still chilly in March. Next word is... Oh my God, we had only half of the year. So it's the end and hope to see you next time. Bye. Expand your vocabulary with our core 2000 words ebook. It's free and packed with essential expressions that you'll use on a daily basis. Start building your vocabulary today. Click the link in the description below to download your free Russian ebook before it's gone.